Hey everybody, this is Alan, and I'm here today to talk about this um, 8x8 RGB matrix blinky kit. It looks like this. Here's the 8x8 matrix and all the components on the back. Um, this is made by a small company uh, called 2D Kits out of Chicago, and here's a picture of their um, business card. You can go to their website at www.2dkits.com, and on that website you'll find a bunch of different kits, including this uh, this one. Um, they have some smaller ones, like here's an example of the smaller kit that they have. This is a three LED kit that you can put together in about half an hour. Um, there's a little switch on the back, and a nice little clip. You can um, clip this to your uh, shirt or sweatshirt and just has three little LED lights that flash. This one, particular one was put together for their MuseCon event uh, conference not too long ago. So again at the top there's a little clip you can actually pin this right on your shirt and it makes a nice little um, makes a little statement. You can wear that around uh, or clip it to your cube at work or whatever you want. So back to the 2D kit um, this 8, 8x8 matrix kit. Um, it comes with everything you see here except the USB cable um, expect you to supply that for, for power or you can use the 1.5 volt AAA battery. Now there's a difference between the the two power sources. You can use either one but the uh, you're going to get the best results with this USB power source and what I do is I just plug that into my Kindle charger down here or, or plug it into your computer or your laptop. Um, as I said you're going to get better results with the USB. The, the 1.5 works but some of the more complicated patterns, the ones that um, flash really fast. They may not look quite as nice. It kind of uh, Some of the LEDs are a little dim. They flash a little bit um, out of sequence, but m most of the good patterns, the, the simpler patterns, work just fine with 1.5, so you can decide how you want to power uh, your kit. For today's demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and use the USB because it uh, offers the best uh, performance and, and you can actually see all the pa patterns in there at full potential. So um, let's get into the kit a little bit. As I said, it comes with everything you see here. Um, it has a, uh, I think it's a two-layer IC board with these uh, seven chips that come with it. A bunch of different components. There's some five resistors, some um, electrolytic capacitors, some disk capacitors, and there's a diode down here. Uh, up at the top, you'll see two LED, or sorry, two uh, momentary switches that are used to change the pattern of the, the kit, which I'll show you in a little bit. The, pattern of the LEDs. There's an on-off switch here and a uh, port for the USB cable here. Uh, when you go to the website you download the instructions for the kit that you're uh, that you're buying and it comes in Word or PDF form. Here I've printed out the instructions here for this kit. There's five five pages that goes through uh, sort of an explanation of the kit, how to use it, presents all the soldering hints, um, it goes through then a step-by-step -step, you know detailed list of uh, instructions on assembly uh, gives you soldering hints a section at the back on troubleshooting so the instructions are very clear it's very easy to follow um, I may not suggest uh, this kit as your first kit um, if you've never soldered before but it's not too bad um, if you have any soldering experience at all and you're comfortable with this stuff then you know it's pretty easy to put together this thing went together in about two hours for me so surprisingly fast I've actually spent longer um, making and remaking this video than I put together than it took to put together the kit. So, um, <clears throat> Alright, uh, let's get into some of the um, tips on the kit that I found uh, was helpful. Um, the first thing is all of these IC chips have a direction to them so the, the chip and the socket themselves all go to the left. There's a little cutout here that you can see on each of these things. That, that These all point to the, to the left so or, make sure you orient both sockets and obviously the chips that, that direction. Because they'll plug in either way, but they're not going to work uh, if you don't get them in the wrong direction. Um, in terms of soldering hints, I, with these um, sockets, what I found worked best is um, they're kind of hard to hold in while you're soldering, so you, you basically put them in and flip them over, and you know I'm going to solder them from the back. Um, but I do I do one corner and then actually reheat the uh, pick it up, reheat the solder joint, push the um, this, the socket closer to the board, make sure it's flush with the board, and into the opposite corner. Repeat the process, you know, reheat and then make it flush. Then you have, once you've got the chip, the socket in flush on both sides, then it's going to stay flush with the board. And then you can do all the other pins uh, one at a time, and it goes a lot smoother that way. Um, 
as the instructions point out, the some of these components have a direction to them. Not only the IC chips, but also the uh, these electrolytic capacitors have a negative and positive. There's a there's a long lead and a short lead, and they'll talk about the right way to put those in. Also, the diode has a direction, and I think that's it. I think all the other ones, the resistors don't matter. I just put all mine in one direction, just just for aesthetic appeal. But you know, you can put those in any direction you want. Um, trying to think of what other tips I have. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, that's right, the matrix itself. So <clears throat> the 8x8 matrix is probably the hardest part to, to solder on here. What I found works get best is when you get to that point, it's the last component you put on after you uh, make sure you solder everything. Um, what I would do before I put this on is go through and inspect all your soldering joints. What I have is a, <clears throat> I have this magnifying glass over here. I use to inspect every joint and I have this bright flashlight. I use that in combination and make sure that all the the, the solder joints are nice and uh, um, shiny and there's no, you know, what they call cold solder joints. So, you know, those don't offer the best uh, uh, conductivity for you. So you want to make sure all your solder joints are complete and everything is tight and there's no solder bridges or anything like that. All right, so getting back to the 8x8, the way this, the way this works is the instructions point out there's some black lettering on one side so on the black lettering is actually printed on the bottom on one side it's kind of hard to see here you might be able to see it a little bit um, it's it's really hard to see even without the even even with even without this video it's it's there is some black letter stamped on the bottom and that, that lines up with the bottom of the kit so the kit you know the, there's a top and bottom the top is up here the bottom's down here so black lettering gets lined up on the bottom, so just make sure you have that matrix in there the right direction. Um, in terms of how you get this together, it's a little tricky. Uh, mine went together pretty well, but uh, basically you start one corner, uh, one side, and you pull it out as far as it'll go, and then you drop the other side in. When you basically you have to go both sides together, there's a row of pins on the top and a row of pins on the bottom, and they'll fit together. But you have to kind of make sure they all go in together uh, at once. It won't. It's not where you can push one side in and then push the other side in. They pretty much all have to go together. So, um, and then once you get that <clears throat> matrix in, then kind of it's uh, the hardest part is really you know putting solder in all those all those different holes. It's a very tight um, squeeze there with a the soldering gun um, or soldering iron. And so let's talk about the soldering iron. Uh, some of the equipment that I use to put this together. So what I have is this nice soldering station over here by OU, and it's a digitally controlled soldering station. It offers um, high power, uh, high setting and a low set, a pre, a preset settings. You can change the preset on them. Uh, you can go up or down on the temperature. It's just a really nice unit. Um, I was tired of using my old uh, junky um, hobby uh, soldering iron that just had a flat blade and I was constantly filing it down trying to get it sharp again. So. What's nice about this one is it comes with a bunch of different tips, and they're all ceramic tips. And what I what I recommend is for this kit is you know pick the um, try to get a tip that's very narrow like this. I mean this this is the narrowest tip that comes with this particular soldering station, and this one works really well. There's a lot of tight uh, spots on here, and it makes it easier if you have this um, very sharp tip. And then for solder cleaning, what I have is this I probably saw it already in the earlier in the video. It's <clears throat> this brass. Um, Gorilla pad that comes, you can buy this on Amazon or anywhere, um, made by the same company. But this makes cleaning your tip real easy. You just stab it in there and it takes all the extra solder off. Sometimes you get a, um, blobs of solder on there and you just want to, you want to get a nice clean uh, tip to start, you start your soldering joint. So you just, just stab it in there and it, it cleans all that off. You can see a little bit of silver on the end there where I've done some soldering. Um, so you don't, you don't need one that's just fancy, but I, I just decided to go out and get this for this particular project because I need a new soldering station anyway so this one worked really well. Uh, oh another nice thing about this one, I, I don't want to belabor the soldering uh, station anymore but it, it, it's a nice uh, safety feature on here. If you leave this thing on it turns off automatically. There's a little motion sensor in the tip so if you leave this sitting in here it will automatically turn off after a predefined uh, number of minutes. I think I have mine set for 30 minutes so if, you're, if you get up and leave this thing is um, going to turn itself off and you're not too worried about you know, uh, burning your house down. Um, okay, so back to the kit. Um, uh, so 
with the kit you want to have obviously the soldering iron, a nice uh, spool of solder, uh, rosin, sor uh, rosin core solder. You don't want to use the, I think there's another kind that has acid or something in it, don't use that, that'll, that'll eat holes in your, um, in your components, so just use something like this. Um, and then wire cutters come in handy. I like these nice wire cutters. They're, they're, uh, they've got a nice little offset blade to them. That's, they're really nice. They, they stay sharp. And then I use this to bend all the, the pens. So I have a nice set of uh, pliers to bend the pens. And that's about it. Um, all right, so let's get on with the demo. I want to show you how this thing works. So I'm going to turn off the overhead light here, make them a little darker. And as I was saying before, the power switches appear in the top left corner. Let's turn it on and there's some uh, momentary switches on the on the top on the top right. So you just turn it over and yeah there's the switches. I gotta orient this so I can demonstrate this. Okay so the test pattern when you turn on looks like that. And uh, this was very gratifying to see when I got this kit done that all the LEDs light up. There's no um, beds or stuck LEDs or anything like that. So to change the pattern you hold one of the momentary switches down and down the left side here you'll see uh, these LEDs will turn green in different patterns and when they change when you hold the switch down it'll change a pattern and then that changes that's a, a visual indication that the pattern's going to change so if I hold this down it changes then I let it up and then it changes the, the pattern so this is a this one will give me a headache if I watch it too long um, here's a nice rotating um, color pattern here. Uh, in case you did not realize this already, all these LEDs are multicolored LEDs, so RGB, red, red, blue, green, and different combinations of that um, uh, values. I think they're probably 255 give you a different um, different color. So um, and again, I can change patterns. There's like 15 different patterns on here. It's uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, somebody had to sit down and program all this stuff and, and um, I think that's what the guys at 2D Kits did. Is they have a um, the PIC chip that runs this thing is a small microprocessor, and I'm sure um, I think it was written in C++. Somebody had to sit down and program all these different patterns here, so you can change the patterns. Here's another nice one that it's kind of like the game of life in a way, a little flashy pattern. Here's another one. I mean, these things are really bright, so you know I wouldn't stare at them too long, but. Here's another one. It's a really cool one here. Just keep going. Okay. Um, after a while, the patterns don't change. I think it's basically slowing it down, speeding it up. But if you change it, go to the next one. I'll just cycle through these. Okay. Here's a cool one here. Kind of a starburst back to okay the last one you know you're at the last one when it's a smiley face and a little LED flash right here for I guess blinking or something and then back to the test pattern here so I kind of like the second pattern it's a nice sweeping uh, color like this really grabs your attention um, it's kind of cool and then on the back side there's a little slot here on the on the top where you can you can hang this thing up if you want hang it on your cube or you know all right, so I think I've covered everything. Um, thanks for watching the video today. Again, if you have any questions, um, check out the website. It's www.2dkits.com, and get your kit today and have some fun putting it together. And good luck. Thanks.